Hi guys, welcome to this short video about question how to make this Apollo sign laptop a little bit less noisy. The big problem here is the loud fan inside. It's not even very powerful, doesn't do a lot, but it's just very loud. What we have to do is to update the BIOS. So let's open the laptop and start it. So either we have to restart or start and while it's booting up we have to hit the delete or escape or both alternately. So I'm trying here. Is it already restarting? Now I think it stopped. Okay, that's the moment where we have to press escape and delete. And of course we do not want to exit. What's important to remember is this build version or this EC version. So we can check if we have been successful with the update. So I'm taking a picture here of this version. We could directly upgrade it from here with the data, with the new version on the USB stick, but it's easier to make it in the window. So I'm escaping here. Yeah, now you can definitely hear the loud fan, this annoying noise. So here we have the software on the desktop. If you need that, just let me know. I think I will upload it also to my cloud, maybe uh, leave the link then in the feedback area or in the description of the video. So here we are on the desktop. So what we need is to copy the pass. So we click on desktop, click on this icon which we have or the folder which we have created and we need the folder for the batch file. Where's the batch file? Maybe in the tool. And yeah, maybe to be safe I think we have to copy everything which is in the tool folder. So we press Ctrl A, Ctrl C. And so we copy everything to the root where we also have this batch file. So we press Ctrl V. Okay, so here we are. I think that's okay. So we right click here and copy address as text. Now we hit the Windows key and type CMD. Then we get this command prompt and we right click on it to open or run as administrator. Okay, so here we are and we type CD, press Ctrl V and so we should be in this directory here where we have these files. We can type DIR and so it will list everything what's here and we definitely have this EC apt W B A T. So we type this here. E C up T W B A T. So let's see if there's something happening. Yeah, looks like it's starting. Okay, it looks like it has done a shutdown after the update. So let's start this here again. And we hit us escape delete to go into the BIOS and check for the version. And so we can definitely see that there was an upgrade. You can see it looks very, very similar. But at the end we have now a dot 3C and in the old one we had a dot 3B. So we have upgraded from B to C. And now we can escape. So I've tried to find any tool which would allow me to set the fan, fan speed or so. But even with the new BIOS it's not possible. So what I'm doing here is to test the user benchmark. You can see I'm already at 63% and it's still quiet. So for me almost looks like with the new BIOS they fixed already the fan speed problem on their own. So probably we don't have to do anything more. So we don't have access to the fan speed. We can't do anything on our side, but it looks like it's not needed because they have fixed it on their end already. I mean, you can see I'm close to 100% and the laptop is still quiet. And this thing is running since about two minutes. And yeah, usually it would have gone crazy already. And so let's check here. 
and that's the result can't remember the original result yeah turn down the music so i go a little bit closer here so you can see more details and i've found the old scan which is from me uh, about two months ago you can see the result 539.5 and now we have 543.5 so definitely huge difference here yeah at least around 10 percent from 39 to 43 yeah pretty much 10 percent that's good what i've also seen here when we go to the old benchmark there was a problem with the uh, cpu it said performing below expectations there was definitely a problem and with the new bias it says the intel celeron is performing as expected and still the graphics card also performing or uh, uh, performing above expectations still some problems down here with the drive or memory kit here don't know what's the problem is maybe we can upgrade that too but the whole user experience is much much better now not comparable to before it's 10 percent faster and we do not have this loud fan anymore so that's absolutely awesome so absolutely no question that it's worth the upgrade and it's also not difficult to do and again if you don't have this 3c bias upgrade if you don't have access to it i'll definitely provide a link to this in the feedback area of this video and so it's a definitely nice laptop here at least in this set and so if you're interested and don't have the link to that uh, i'll also put down the link to the amazon listing into the description and so that's it for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time